<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. <laughs> J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? Hey guys, Sean Mayo here, and uh, today I wanted to show you how to make uh, better use of your Amazon Flips. This is um, a, a new thing to a lot of people, so, uh, you know, just going to the Amazon page uh, and doing a search may not always be enough. Um, you know, this, some of the Amazon sub sub subcategories are still so huge uh, that it won't even display all of them. Uh, so uh, I just want to go over a few things that uh, we do um, for our business to narrow it down, get um, better coverage of uh, some of these sites. You may still get some duplicates, but uh, it's, it's really going to let you dig a little deeper into exactly what you, what you want to look for. Uh, so I just pulled up one of my um, bulk lists that we sell. Um, this one is the... Uh, for the flips in uh, Toys and Games. So this is a complete list of all the categories in Toys and Games. And I uh, sorted it by last page first, um, the, the highest number. Uh, so what you see here is everything uh, with the highest number. You, you'll see on every one of our lists that uh, the flips number is going to end at 400. And that's because Amazon has a limit of uh, 400 items, um, 400 pages per uh, category, um, per search or um, whatever it is you're looking at. If you're doing a search or doing, you know, looking at the main category, uh, it's always going to end at page 400. So if you look here, um, if we go down to the bottom, you'll see it ends at page 400, but this isn't showing you all the items. Uh, this is showing you 1 through 24 of uh, 15,327. So if you multiply, uh, some pages have 24, some pages have 27. Uh, this one has 24, uh, as you can see uh, the first thing on this line, of uh, 15,327. So uh, if you multiply 24 by 400 pages, you're only getting 9,600 results. If you have 27 on a page, you're only getting 10,800 results. So if uh, your category has more than that, and much, some have much more than that, some are uh, really huge, um, then uh, you're missing out on a lot. And not only are you missing things, you might be looking for things that uh, you're not interested in at all. Uh, so what we'll, we'll do is narrow this down and then do uh, a search on uh, our narrowed down results. And you can even do multiple searches. You can turn one of our subcategories into, you know, three of them or five of them or whatever uh, it is to get uh, the best results for you. Uh, so the first thing we do to narrow things down, and usually it'll narrow it down so we get all those results. I mean, we don't need to be looking for things that we're going to buy from a third-party merchant fulfilled seller. Uh, I, I mean, for my business, uh, we're not going to be buying anything merchant fulfilled. I know a lot of you uh, don't as well. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is only look at uh, prime offers, and that's going to knock this listing down to 4,642 items. Uh, so already this is small enough where we're not looking at 400 pages anymore. We're now looking at uh, only 291 pages. So not only are you going to get full coverage of everything that's at the FBA warehouse that uh, we'd be interested in buying to flip, but um, you're also going to be saving a ton of time. You're going to be searching, uh, you know, 109 pages less than you would have by just putting this information uh, in as it was. Um, and we can also narrow this down uh, even further because um, another uh, very hot thing that we do that is really going to um, 
save you a lot of searching time is the uh, customer reviews. So you may not want to be selling anything that's a one star or a two star. You may only want things that have a, a three star review or better. You may only want things that have a four star review. Uh, that's up to you, but you can narrow that information down. Um, as well as you know your price point you may not be buying items that are um, you know over two hundred dollars or over a hundred dollars um, so the current cost could be uh, whatever you want there are some predefined ones but you can also set those however you want um, so we can enter you know that we're not interested in buying things that you know are going to cost less than let's say five dollars um, and we don't want to buy anything more than, you know, 50 bucks. Um, and then uh, you click go and it's going to narrow it down even further. So now we're down to 2,300 items. Uh, and then um, I know a lot of people are using the discount to sh only show 10, 25, 50, or 70 percent off or more, but it has to have an MSRP um, to have that discount. As you can see, um, you know, this item is marked down from fourteen ninety to nine ninety eight, dollars uh, but if it didn't have that retail price, uh, it wouldn't be showing the items without markdowns, and some items, uh, you know, just don't have that retail price. Most of them do, but, you know, there are some uh, that don't. You can also look at items only being sold by Amazon. If you do that, you're going to go down now to 782 items, uh, but we're looking for... Uh, items that are uh, from a wide range of sellers. So these are going to be all the top sellers on here. There's a lot of, um, you know, bigger sellers that we would uh, buy from for doing uh, doing flips. Uh, but if you only want to look at Amazon, you can click on that and you can narrow that down even more. And then you can uh, just use that link. Instead of using uh, this main link that started out over 15,000 items, now we've narrowed it down to 2,300 items that were really interested in that are uh, at an FBA warehouse, have at least three stars, and are currently selling between five and fifty dollars. Um, and, you know, we're going to save a ton of time. So, you know, we're, we're down uh, to 145, uh, which is about a third of uh, the search we were just doing. So we can just copy this link, um, you know, back into our bulk file. Uh, if we put it in the bulk list, uh, we can just replace this here, um, and now it has that link, or um, you can just, uh, you know, make a new list with all of your modified uh, things, and so, you know, we'll go through, and um, we don't just let this run and do, you know, a hundred uh, categories at random from one of these lists, uh, you know, this should be a starting point. Um, you know, start doing the searches, but, um, you know, as you have time, go in there and do, uh, and narrow each one of these category listings down to uh, make yourself more efficient. So uh, you're only taking a third of the time to do this one. You know, if you knock all these down by, you know, a third or half, all of a sudden you're searching, uh, you're not searching for all that junk that's useless. You're going to be finding items that um, you know, uh, better match your criteria and only be looking for those. And when you find a good brand, you know, create a, a flip list for that. You know, it's, it's very easy. You know, if you find, um, you know, a good brand that you like, you know, uh, Gund is a good toy brand. So if we just go back over to toys um, and type in Gund, so we're only going to find Gund in toys. Um, you know, there's 12,000 results here, but again, we can uh, narrow uh, this down quite a bit. It's going to go down to 3,924 just by looking at Prime, and we're well under our, our 100 pages again. And uh, it's searching 164 pages, and this, you know, if it's a hot brand, that something that we're interested in selling, we can do this search. Uh, we'll do this search every day. You know, we have a list of, um, you know, the hot uh, items that, and the hot brands that we like to use, and uh, we'll do these same searches over and over uh, every single day, as well as 
uh, things like movers and shakers and new releases and um, you know all those uh, top automatically created listings.